Hello, hi, welcome to part two of the Tandem Collective. Only Big Bum Bum Matters Tomorrow. Read along. Um, this is part two. It is a uh, rainy Sunday and uh, it's makeup time. The reason I've split this up into there are more than one, obviously, is that um, it's an eight day long video. It makes sense to split it up into, into half and half. Where we're in the middle, day four, so now from five to eight. Also, for space, we're running out of space. So, I literally have two minutes left right now. Um, so, I need it for that. And then, yeah, because I don't think anybody wants to watch an hour, hour and a half long video. So, we're cutting that into two. They, these are quite long enough. They're long enough. So, uh, welcome to the... Second half of OBB MT read along hashtag. <laughs> okay, I again I've made space as you can see by the lights. Um, it's been it's been some time. Make some space. I, I can record now an hour, yay. Um, and I forgot where I was. Okay. Um, so I forgot to say that in part four, we started getting into more background, into more history. Now we're getting the mothers, the mother, the mother, and the sister, the mother, sister, the mother, and the auntie. Um, and there's plot twists, and there's secrets coming out um there's some unexpected stuff okay um all of these things are bringing more context to the story and it's, it's unpacking it's unpacking okay the pacing is nice i haven't been reading it's, it's because of this video uh, <laughs> because of my time restrictions like i explained um in the previous video i think um so yeah, we are halfway through, that happened in book four, okay, so, I mean, part four, in part five, uh, and now, and now, you know, we, we can see why Ladun and her mother are not sitting around the same fire anymore, or what happened is that in her past, her mother fell in love with a guy called Israel, and Israel fell in love with her, and they were going to marry and stuff. But in the meantime, um, there was another guy, I can't remember his name, um, and he kept insisting and kept insisting, the more she said no, the more she wouldn't do anything, and la 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 la. So eventually he insisted to come to meet her mother, the parents, and then they were there, and to get him to shut up, she went with them so they could explain to the parents that she's, you know, da da da. But then she gets raped okay trigger warning um and she immediately tells israel and israel breaks up with her because obviously she didn't tell him he thinks that she did it on purpose two timing la, 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 la. so now as the story progresses she now has told the kids finally because because ladun falls in love with mofe <coughs> and then they go and meet the parents because Mofia and Ladun want to marry now. Uh, and there's Makito. But the point of problem with that is that Mofia's dad turns out to be Israel, the same Israel who recognizes Osana, the mother, and then refuses to have anything to do with that family. So they break the engagement and they're not allowed to have any more contact with each other. One second. Okay, so then. Um, we understandably Ladun gets upset because now they've been keeping this from her the entire life but now on the other side of the story is how do you explain that the thing because because Asana's husband Tito the one who just died in the beginning of the book um, was told and he accepted her and the baby and he loved the baby as if it was his and they pretended that it was his um, it is never time to tell your children that you are, that, you know, your child, that you're a object of rape. I mean, how do you bring that subject up? And I mean, 
maybe at some point, yeah, when at least she's 18 or 16, when they can start thinking for themselves like that, in, in that regard, I don't know, maybe you could have had a conversation, but I'm, I'm, I know, I understand it's hard for Asana as well, and for Tito, because once that secret is out, it's a big secret. Um, okay, so now, <laughs> onto the challenges and the questions for today, day five. Uh, they want to know, are there any plot twists? Uh, yes, yes, there is. There are plenty of plot twists. So, like I've been saying, so it's very, very intriguing. It's been very hard to stop. I have, I have to continue now on day six and day seven. Okay. <laughs> this book is actually really good so far. I'm really enjoying it. Um, you have to wait until I'm done so I can give you all my thoughts. But yes. So at the end of part five, of day five, we need to see what's going to happen because now Laduna's gone away and she's been gone for five years and she only came back for the funeral. So she left and la 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 la. And Timmy. Also knows that she was told they were both told, so she's also coming to grips with it, and then so on and so forth. <laughs> it's good. If I tell you anything more, then there's no point in you reading the book. The challenge for day five is to create a reel, um, to tell us, to show people what we would do if we went to Lagos for a day. Obviously, there's going to be beaches, there's going to be bookshops, and there's going to be food because that's what you're going to do. You're going to experience these things you're there. It's on the beach. You're going to go. I'm not a I'm not a nightlife kind of a guy anymore. If I was younger, then maybe you. So I might go to a restaurant or something, but I won't go to clubs and stuff. Unless there's a gay place there, gay where I am, then I might pop in to see how it goes because I don't drink. I drink coffee. Okay, I don't drink alcohol. Because I choose not to. It, it, I really don't enjoy the effects of it. Although I am missing out on a lot of life. Because I don't drink. Anyway. That's not the end of there. So. That's my. I will insert the reel now now. Yeah. And I am going to. Go from here. We are going to do. Hopefully. Day 6 and 7 today. Um, the. Challenge for day seven or day six, I think, is redundant because it's similar to one that I've already done. Um, so maybe I'll just do a post, which, which I don't know because tomorrow I have a cover reveal to do on Instagram, so I can't do that on Instagram. And also, what more? Yeah, and also. Um, I signed up for a tandem collective read along before this one. Okay, I didn't think I would get it because I haven't heard from them. We heard from this one first, so I was accepted. And now that we, no, two days in, two days into this book, and then I found out that I've been accepted to the first one. So I think that's going to happen next week. So there's no rest for the week, guys. There's no rest for the week. I will keep you updated on that as usual. That will get its own video. Um, yeah, there was something I wanted to say, but that'll come back to me later. Okay, let's get on to day six. Bye! <laughs>
or or digital book with gloves on. Give me a second. Can I? Maybe I can. Of course. Thank you. Little trick. Blur between the pages. Okay. Um, I stopped before the chapter there. Okay. Um, and that's where the page break is. This is what I was complaining about in the previous episode. Um, I don't like this where it breaks right in the middle, okay, of, of a thing. I, I don't like that. So I've stopped before the chapter, and I'm going to start this chapter as part of day seven's reading. <laughs> now let me tell you, let me tell you, uh, we are getting secrets upon secrets upon secrets. You... And now, now we find out that Ladun has some secrets of her own. <clears throat> and she's so angry with her mother. It's now been five years. It was three years she tried to make contact. Um, and that went awry. And then, at, and now again. Um, and now we're going back into spoiler, spoiler territory. So she, she found a man, she fell in love with a man, she wanted to marry a man. He was respectful, he was successful, la 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 la. Tried to get... Permission from her parents da, 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 at, uh, at the three year mark after leaving the house. That didn't go awry. Da, 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 da. So they continued for two years. And then they decided that she, they're going to be married anyway. So uh, they're going to do the nasty because he wants a baby. So they decided, okay, they're going to have a baby. And la, 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 la. But eventually, as she, just before she actually falls pregnant with Idache. Uh, she finds out that he's a gangster, <laughs> an armed robber, or the head of the operations of a gang of robbers and stuff. Um, and then she becomes pregnant and she doesn't want to tell him, but then she makes a plan that she's not going to be with him. Um, and she's going to leave. And then she goes, she's going to have an abortion and then she's going to... Back to her parents, and she's going to go back to her family, go back to her home, and she's going to recover there. Just after she has the abortion, or while she's having the abortion, she gets a call from her sister to say that her father's died. So now there's that whole thing gone, and now this is where we're at. So now we're about to find out from Timmy's side as well, because it's labeled Timmy. So that's where we are at right now. It's also hard working my phone with gloves on. <laughs> okay, so on to today's questions and challenges. So, <clears throat> like I said, we found out about some of Latin's secrets. At some point, they, her father comes to her before she gets the chance to tell him about the Dache. Um, he, she feels that he was just more focused on getting the family back together, making up with her mom and stuff. So at some point she tells the dad that, Daddy, I lost Mofe because of mommy's lies. Mofe was the guy that's Israel's son. If this is in the previous episode, please make sure you watch that one. Well, um, so now at this point I want to tell you that they want to know, the question is that how do we feel about Tito's point of view on the subject. We says to her that you know, he's, you know, he's such a good man. He says that she, her mother, didn't do anything on purpose. It's like nobody knew what was going to have the ramifications in the in the future. It's, it's not something that anybody can control. And the more he's trying to tell her that you know, I chose you and your mother, even though I knew that we chose to keep a secret from everybody. It only came out now when we told you. The more he's trying to say that her mother is now, you know, she's, she finagled him, she wrangled him into the thing, she, she caught him with lies, la da da da. Your sister, were, your sister, were, no, you lost Mofe yourself because, or he lost him yourself, her himself because he didn't fight for her. He just, he just decided that uh, he was, his parents were right and he took the, the easy way out and he was a coward. He didn't love you enough to fight for you so it wasn't your mother's fault it was Moffat's fault so on and so forth I, I I feel him I feel him I understand that as well he's such such a good dad um 
So yes, I absolutely agree with what his father said. <coughs> and he's also been telling her that she has a right to be angry with the parents, but she also needs to see the other side of the coin, in other words. She needs to understand that uh, there's other scenarios. It's not a thing that was intended. It's, it's just something as ramifications from the past. Look, you come the consequence, consequence, consequence. Look, you come the consequences of my actions here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. And then they want us for the challenge. They want us to um, make a reel or a post to show off what we would do if we went to Lagos for a day. Um, I'm not really good with these, but anyway, this is the result of that. Also, just by the way, one quick note, uh, you'll see that I, I, I'll put the, the comment there. I removed the original sound from the TikTok when I put it in YouTube because I need to avoid copyright infringements. Now, the, that, that kind of music is not available for you to use, you have to buy licenses. I need to use royalty-free music, so I have to replace the music or take it out completely. So what I do is I take it out and I say that, that the, and I'll put a note as you have seen, and then I add royalty-free music just to keep things going, just to make it not silent movies, 1922. Okay. Um, on to... I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. Um, guess I made a mistake and has to edit the thing. So if there's a blip that doesn't make sense, please excuse me. I had to cut that out to redo it. <laughs> so for today's challenge, and this is the one I was talking about earlier, is that they want to make a post, want us to make a post or a reel um, about the book and then just play a song that we best feel describes the book. Um, like I said before, and I'm going to say again, I'm not a music kind of guy. I know music. I listen to music. I hear music. But I don't know everything. I don't listen to music. I prefer silence and quiet because it helps me to concentrate. The music and stuff takes my concentration away. Something will filter through me and that will pull me out of my whatever. See, when I'm in the mood for music, then that's fine. If I go somewhere, to ent I'll anticipate the music, that's fine. I don't have a playlist. I don't even have Spotify, okay? I'm not a music kind of guy. So this is the, the thing where I've now made a reel for day three, and it's, and it's very similar. It says, please do a reel of quotes or your annotations, favorite quotes from the book, uh, with music that describes the book. So, you know, I've done that. So, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. However, um, they made mention in the book of this song. So, I took a photo. Look there, look there. So, I'm going to use that one. If I can find it, if it's available. And then I'm just going to add a photo and see how it goes. The photo I'm going to use from day one because I haven't used that anyway yet. I was going to save that for review day. Hmm. Actually, there's other ones that I've taken that we just... You see, but I took those for specific things and it doesn't work as a general photo. But anyway, <laughs> here's the result of that. Okay, bye on day seven. Welcome to another stormy day. It's Monday the 26th and it's day 8 of the read along. So sad because it's the last day, but also um, I'm stressing because the last challenge is 
mind blowing. It's hard. It's hard. I know they've given us some examples as well, but mm. I don't know how that's going to go. Mm. Okay. Uh, hi. Thanks. Okay, so um, forty-seven. <laughs> We heard about the auntie's point of view, Jumai, Auntie Jumai, and we heard more of Timmy's background. Now, let me tell you something. With knowing what we don't know in the beginning and knowing what we know now, things are starting to fall into place. Um, and we can see all the intrigue with like what some people know and what some people don't know and how this all played together and how people like like for example Timmy went to her dad Tito to tell him about how she feels and about what she feels she needs to do and you know the money that she needs for it and, da, da, da. and her dad says you know what my baby I'm going to give you a million naira and then towards your fund um, but I don't think you should do this, but it's your, your choices and you need to do what makes you happy and I'm going to support you either way. Um, but you do need to tell your mother before you do the surgery. So, you know, and he also told her that you need to kind of do it in a way where everybody's together. You can do it at the same time, which is kind of why she blurted it out at the wedding. That makes sense. And then, but Auntie Jumai, she, after all these years, she's been, Know, being estranged from a daughter, from a sister, Asana, and da, 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 da. when she finds out about all these things happening, um, she wants to punish herself because there's all these things that happened, especially when she finds out that her sister, you know, uh, trigger warning, uh, was raped. She wanted to know what she was doing. Was she chasing a man? Was she burning her sister's letters? Was she uh, uh, writing exams? You know. Um, so now she's vowing that she's going to not make the same mistake with her sister as with Timmy. She's going to help save Timmy and, and save Timmy from her demons. <laughs> and then we're on to the last part of the book, which is called Tomorrow We Save Timmy. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I'm all for that now. For those of you who've been paying attention, or maybe not, or if you've just noticed it, you would notice I haven't put in a thing for day six. Okay, it's my, my challenge for day six. That is because I decided to combine day six and day seven. But we'll get to that. On to the questions for day seven. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they want to know. How do we feel about how body dysmorphia is portrayed in this novel? Um, I'm kind of relatively new to the term body dysmorphia. I know what it means now, da, 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 and I've, I've been seeing part of me different variations of it. Um, and I mean, because before I thought it was only only certain people. Who suffered body dysmorphia um, but there are equal measures of body dysmorphia and body shaming in this book I think it's okay I mean we, we feel how Timmy feels she explains herself nicely in the book so um, I think I think she did a good job I haven't read many just body dysmorphia Characters, characters with body dysmorphia. I've read a few recently since my bookstagram journey. I've, I've opened up, I've, I've realized how non diverse I actually am. So I've read more and more and more stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, I always thought body dysmorphia was for. Was, was different. I had a different understanding of the word, of the, of the term. But I understand it now. Um, I mean, I've understood it for a while now, but I mean, I just understand it, understand it. So, I think you did a good job of it. Um, I don't know what else to tell you, so we'll leave it there. <laughs>
<laughs> and then they also want to know if Timmy gets the BBL, will she feel seen? Will she get the attention that she feels she deserves? Now, I can tell you she'll get attention. I can tell you it's not necessarily from all the right places. Um, but she's definitely good attention. Okay, she'll also get hate. She'll get both positive and negative. It's, it's not going to be all good times. But, you know what, you do you, you need to feel you, if that is how you feel, then that is how you feel, you just do have to be aware of, of haters, because there will be negative, and there will be negativity coming your way, and there will be backlash, because not everybody agrees with you, because that's life, unfortunately, so... Yeah, just be aware of these things and do these things for yourself. Make sure you're doing these things for the right reason. And and if that's going to make your you feel you better, then by all means do that. Uh, yeah. Hmm? And then onto the challenge for day seven, they want us to post a reel or a photo with a caption about the book and our read long experience and to remind the viewers of September the 9th to the author on the live event um, and then the challenge for the 6th was to post a photo or a reel of the book with the music so I combined the two um, and I used a photo from day one and then I inserted I made a, a reel on TikTok I made a, a photo reel not a real reel, so I can't share it to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert the fun facts about the author. And then, you know, I'm going to encourage you to tell me what you liked about it in the comments down below. And what was your fun facts? What did you enjoy the most? In the comments down below. <laughs>
why why this is my problem if you want to do that there are places to go for you to do that there are specific times as well and specific places with like-minded people so Auntie Jumai goes to the pastor and says oh you have to help me this child is possessed <laughs> So without them is consent, I mean, there's the pastor, there's Auntie Juma, the mother is standing behind the door and then taking her phone and taking her bag so she can't go anywhere, she can't do anything, she's like trapped. And the pastor is hoying the olive oil and they're all declaiming, Auntie Juma is shaking her Bible. <laughs> not eventually Timmy offends the pastor and he leaves which is fine so now out she comes but now as she comes out washing the face and la, the entire family is there waiting for her but before before Timmy fell asleep <laughs> her sister I didn't get to see her and they kind of made up and so on and so forth so they kind of, they kind of sisters again, and then she comes downstairs, and there's everybody is there. This the doctor is there, and there's a there's another guy. I don't know, I can't remember what he's called now. Anyway, <laughs> Terry comes in and greets everybody. Hi everyone. Oh, Auntie Juma goes. Oh, the rudeness of this child. Why can't you greet everybody one by one? And and big mummy, the the daddy sister goes. Oh. This child is so rude, I blame the parents, didn't teach you any manners. So there's the whole congregation, the whole family, they're doing this thing and the doctor's giving her pamphlets. They're telling her, so many women died, la 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 la, there's so many health risks. And you're not done, you're only 20, you're not done growing yet, your body's not done growing. So wait until your body's done growing, la 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 la. <laughs> so at the end, you know, Tammy's not being hurt. She's not given a chance to speak because she's disappointing her family and blah, blah, blah. so she takes a breath and she stands up and she says and she gives them kind of an ultimatum which is kind of cool it's kind of cool and and because mommy and the aunties and and everybody do not want to spoil their secrets <laughs> they choose to shut up <laughs> it's actually really it's actually really good I love the ending. The ending is very, very dramatic. Now, the, hilar the hilarity um, that they classed it as is, is prevalent, but it's, it's more... Okay, it's not... It is funny. It is funny, but it's not... Like, in your face funny. It's not, like, on the page funny. I don't know how to explain it. It's funny. And you're laughing at scenarios. You're laughing at the people. Um, it's not, like... The prose is tongue in cheek, is kind of what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Um, I love the writing style. It's actually very good. Um, I, I do. I will look. I will read more from this author. Um, I thank you, Picador Africa and Pan Amat well, in South Africa and Tandem Collective Global for sending me and this book and for you know allowing me to be part of this read along. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, guys, let's just go on to the questions for diets. Okay. Okay. Again, back to my point of religion. Days 8 wants to know, do you think that Timmy is possessed <laughs> by this idea of, of a BBL, a Brazilian thumb lift? Uh, no, duh. She's thought it through long and hard. She has been doing research. She wants to do it for herself. It's got nothing to do with being possessed. <laughs> then they also want to know, will the fasting and the prayers work? Of course not. Of course not. When has it ever worked? Mm, mm, mm. If you believe that, you believe that. I've been religious. I've done all the stuff. I'm no longer religious, okay? Because proof. There is none. Zero is absurd. And we're not going to go there. Uh, so, yeah. So... <laughs> All those, you know... 
religious situations can be funny. Can be funny. <laughs> like in that one now. That was hilarious. <laughs> but also imagine being Timmy and waking up to that. I mean, that's going to scar you for the rest of your damn life. And if you wanted to go to church, who is not going to church anymore? Hmm? Hmm? Definitely not me. Definitely not Timmy. Okay, so now we need to do the challenge for the eight and, and that is the cuckoo book. Or to make a recipe for this book. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's lots of examples of people doing stuff, putting things into a pot or a pan or whatever, um, and then pulling the book out. Um, it started a while back with bookish candles. They put bookish candles in it, the label, you know, like the tropes, and then mixing it up and then bring the book out. Um, I don't have those kind of candles. That would be nice. That would be nice, but anyway. Um, in the examples that, they said, that they've shown us, is the same thing. They just got voiceovers, um, which are funny and it's nice. And, and I like that, but we don't need to do a voiceover. I don't think I want to do that. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is the 8th of September <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, I've been brainstorming and I've come up with something. <gasps> it's taken me a while. Ah, I hope you like it. Anyway, it is now spring and spring has sprung and the green leaves are greening and the new life is lifing. Love it. Hoping for the warm. It's obviously still going to be cold for a while because it's spring. It's still going to be rain. Nothing I can do about that. But I'm hoping for the warm. I'm excited. Um, yes. And I'm finally done. Finally done. I'm finally done. Done with all the challenges. I need to fill in the feedback forms today. Before before the night. I can only do it after midnight for my internet. <sighs> it is what it is. I can't I am I'm, I'm behind only because of this challenge. Um we love being challenged, we love thinking out of the box, we love these things and that is why we do it. Um, it's given me some ideas, I've seen other people's ideas that are fantastic. I love, love. And I didn't want to take anything from anybody else, you know what I mean. I did have an idea that I wanted to do a shopping list, like you know when you go to pick and pay. Um, and then you do your shopping and then you get that slip, the tool slip. I wanted to do something like that with the ingredients and then the cost and you know make a funny list and and do that but I, I don't know how to do that so that was not the end of this so I did what I did and that is that and I'm done with this okay so yes I highly recommend this one if you're just looking for a light-hearted novel um, uh, you've heard all my thoughts thank you for sticking this far the writing is lovely um, and I liked how they brought the colloquialism to the page. Do have Google ready next to you. Okay, unless you have Nigerian friends or, you know, or you've been to Nigeria, you've come from Nigeria, you are Nigerian. Um, I don't know the lingo. I'm sorry. 
so you know there's a lot of things that I could be missing out on but you know, have Google ready and then you can Google and you can Google pronounce you can Google find the meaning of words so that's great um, I love the characters the characters are fantastic um, the topics the, that that the book covers is important unfortunately I, I don't think that that's not gonna go away men are men and and that's just the thing you know i'm not i guess i am generalizing but it, it is not every man is the same but in the long run you know what i'm saying the majority of men and you know what i mean you know what i mean i do recommend this book um it is it is hilarious only for the fact that you know family drama is hilarious and how the people can go on is hilarious um so yes I am looking forward to more from this author. Um, I do hope they write more soon or they are busy writing some stuff. Maybe I don't know. But yes, this was this was a really fun read. Um, and it does and, and you do want to read more as you go along. We had to stop ourselves from reading because we read along. So yes. Giving this a very well deserved four stars. <clears throat> and these two videos, this is the end of part two, serves as my video review. You have all of my thoughts and all of my reactions, they are all in these two videos. If you haven't seen part one, then please go and have a look at it. Thanks, it's linked in the bottom in the beginning of this video as well in the cards. And you can just go check my page for more. Please, thank you, consider subscribing to my channel for more bookish goodness. And if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss an upload from me. Thank you very much. I'm from Spring in Cape Town. It's, it looks warm, but it's not. It's only like 14 degrees Celsius. It's not warm. It's not warm. Okay. And that's that. I'm hoping that the next... I have applied for another tandem read-along um, for the instrumentalist. Um, I hope I do get that. Because I'm struggling to review the instrumentalist because I have an arc. So I'm hoping that these questions and challenges would help me put all my thoughts together. That would be great. Um, I'm also <clears throat> not a tandem... Thing, applied for read-along for uh, Prior of the Orange Tree with Jonathan Ball publishes so hopefully I get that one because I don't think I'm going to read that anytime soon otherwise let's be honest I mean she thick okay she thick <laughs> anyway enough rambling let me know if you guys have anything planned buddy reads or read-alongs or if you just want to read anything, if you just if there's something on your on your on your pile that you really need to read, really want to read, let me know down in the comments below. <coughs> Pardon me. And if you have a new video up on your channel, bookish channel that you'd like me to to have a look at, please do let me know down in the comments below. Leave a link, and I will be sure to check it out. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.